Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. What we're going to look at in this video is how to create an SSID and unify for our IoT devices that is 2.4 gigahertz only. Now, a lot of your IoT devices, uh, they use 2.4 gigahertz only. And there are piles and piles and piles of these radios, I'm sure, just laying around. They're super cheap, right? So that's why they keep putting 2.4 gigahertz radios and everything. All right. So uh, here we are. We are logged into Unify inside of our UDR. And you can see these are my two SSIDs. I've got uh, FBI VAN and then FBI IoT. So what you're going to do is you're going to create an SSID and you can call this, um, you can call it anything. I'm just going to call it uh, F FBI test. And I'm just going to make the password one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, because I'm going to end up deleting it. It can go on the default network. That's cool. Broadcasting APs. I've got three APs in the group. I wanted to broadcast on all three APs but I only want it to be 2.4 gigahertz because it's going to be for those IOT. You know what? Just to make this a little clear, IOT. Okay. So IOT, Internet of Things. We're going to click manual here under advanced, and I'm going to uncheck the 5 gigahertz. I'm not going to hide the Wi-Fi name. I am going to do a video on why it's you shouldn't hide the SSID. I'm going to do a whole video on that. Other than that, we want this to uh, work as normal. So that's really the only change that we want. We want it to be 2.4 gigahertz only. Now, if we leave this box checked for 5 gigahertz, it's going to be 2.4 and 5. And you're going to notice that a lot of your IoT devices that are 2.4 gigahertz, sometimes they'll have problems connecting to your SSID if it's on 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. So it's it's a good idea on your IoT to go ahead and separate that out, give it a 2.4 only. You could do this and give it a 5 only and then differentiate you know, between the two in the name. And uh, then you're not going to have any more problems because it's not going to have to try to uh, negotiate. Uh, this is the quickest way we've seen to solve a lot of those problems. I'm going to go ahead and hit add uh, Wi-Fi. and We're going to leave it at WPA2 and add that network, and you're going to see it chug along. Now you're going to see FBI test IoT, and if we bring up the settings for this, it is still 2.4 gigahertz, and it's that easy. We could also do this, like I said, with 5, and if you've got a Wi-Fi 6E access point, um, kind of like uh, this, uh, Unify 6 Enterprise access point, then you could have a 6 gigahertz network only. So it's really that easy, and it really makes things super-duper simple. So if you have questions about this, like why would we do 2.4 only, or why would we do 5 only, or why would we do 6 only, put those down in the comments. And any other questions related to this IoT type stuff, let me know down in the comments what you need to know. And also, please give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. Please follow me, uh, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below along with our affiliate link if you'd like to support the channel and our Patreon link. And if you need IT consulting, you can reach out at willyhow.com. Click the Hire Us button or contact us. Fill that information out and someone will be in touch with you as soon as, soon as possible. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.